good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of straight line inclined to both the planes under this we are discussing now 11th solved problem now we will enter into the problem the given problem is the front and top views of an 80 mm long line pq measures 70 mm and 60 mm respectively the end p is on the hp and the end q is in the vp draw the projections of the line pq and determine its inclinations with the hp and the vp this is very very important problem and it was asked many times under university examinations now we'll extract the data from this problem the given data from the problem is true length of the line 80 mm and its front view length is 70 mm top view length is 60 mm the end p is on the hp so its front view p dash falls on the xy line and then another end q is in the vp so its top view falls on the xy line that is q falls on the xy line and q2 also comes on the xy line then what's our objective we need to draw the final projection of the line in front view as well as top view and we need to determine the true inclinations with hp as well as vp that is we need to find the values of theta value as well as phi value theta is the inclination of the line with hp and phi is the inclination of the line with vp here line means true length of the line now we'll move towards detailed solution related to the given problem before going to the detailed solution related to the given problem refer eighth solved problem for concepts and better understanding of the present problem now we'll move to the detailed solution as a first step draw xy line after drawing xy line then in the problem it is mentioned that one end of the line say p is on hp so its front view falls on the xy line its front view is p dash that p dash falls on the xy line then locate p dash on xy line after that in the problem it is mentioned that the front view length is 70 mm and top view length is 60 mm so draw front view length that front view length is parallel to the xy line and it starts at p dash because p dash is on xy line the front view length also falls on the xy line with the given front view length say 70 mm draw front view on xy line name this point as q2 dash after that in the problem itself it is mentioned that on our end of the line say q is on vp so it stop you falls on xy line that is the image of the top you falls on the xy line so this existing xy line becomes the locus line for q point from the basics of the projection of straight line inclined to both the planes we know that the front view as well as top view of a point p falls on the same projector that is p dash as well as p falls on the same projector so at p dash draw projector vertically down after that in the problem it is mentioned that another end of the line say q is on vp so it image falls on the xy line so this existing reference line becomes the locus line for q so q2 point is going to coincide with q2 dash because this p dash q2 dash is the apparent length in front view for the true length in 
top you so the true length of the line q2 starts here so this point becomes the starting point for the true length of the line in top you say q2 now q2 as a center true length say 80 mm as a radius draw an arc on this projector name this point as p then join p as well as q2 this is the true length in top u after that in the problem it is mentioned that the top u length is 60 mm and we know that the initial front u as well as top u lines are parallel to the xy line so at p with the given top u length say 60 mm draw a line parallel to the xy line parallel to the xy line at p with the given top u length say 60 mm name this point as q1 after that this is the top u length for this top u we will draw true length in front u how to draw true length in front u at q1 draw projector vertically up after that with the true length say 80 mm as a radius with true length 80 mm as a radius p dash as a center draw an arc on the projector name this point as q dash sorry q1 dash after that join p dash as well as q1 dash this is the true length of the line in front u that is for this true length this is the apparent length for this apparent length this is the true length after that draw locus line through q1 dash which is parallel to the xy line after that name this one as locus line q dash drawing true length in front q as well as top u is over then we will draw final projections of the line that is drawing final projection of the line in front u as well as top u now with p dash as a center and p dash q2 dash as a radius that is front u length as a radius draw an arc onto the locus line the intersection point of the arc as well as locus line is name it as q dash join p dash as well as q dash this is the final projection of the line in front u so it has to be more darker than earlier drawn lines after that draw final projection of the line in top u for that what we will do there are two ways of doing it one is draw a line parallel to p p dash line passing through q dash that line cuts the reference line at q or p as a center p q1 as a radius draw an arc 
towards this locus line. Then name this point as Q. Join P as well as Q. This is the final projection of the line in top U. And it is also as dark as the final projection of the line in front U. After that, here P, P dash and Q, Q dash lines are parallel to each other and they are called end projectors. Next, we need to measure the true inclinations with HP as well as VP. Then we will do the dimensioning. Here P dash Q1 dash is equal to P Q2 is equal to 80 mm that is true length of the line. P dash Q dash is the French length of the line which is equal to 70 mm. PQ is the top U length of the line which is equal to 60 mm. All these dimensions are in millimeters. Then related to the pencil uses, the construction lines are to be with 3H pencil and dimensioning is with 2H pencil and the final position of the lines are to be more darker than the true length as well as initial position of the front view as well as top view lines. This is very very important problem and it was asked many times under university examinations. That's about the solution for the given problem. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning on knowledge sharing. Thank you for watching.